Welcome back to the Cat and Keys channel. I'm Keys, and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite products that I like using in my natural hair. Um, before we get started, in the beginning, I kind of just wanted to show you how my hair looks in this natural state. That is a wash and go that I am wearing in the beginning of the video, as you can see. Right now, you can see that my hair is a little bit different right now because I did get my hair blown out and straightened because, you guys, I needed a serious trim. Um, it was about maybe like nine or ten months going on without getting my hair trimmed. Um, for a lot of naturals out there, there are some people who have good luck with not getting frequent trims, but me, like, it gets really bad to the point where my ends start breaking and I heard snapping when I was combing my hair and I was like, okay, I need to get myself in a hairdresser, so that is what I did. The first products that I want to start off with is my favorite shampoos at the moment that I have been using. So the first product is... Shea Moisture, Shea Moisture Raw Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. It has sea kelp and organ oil and it helps with dry, damaged hair. Um, it heals, grows, and strengthens your hair. Basically, it is sulfate free and color safe. Um, you guys, I really do love Shea Moisture products. Um, I'm just going to show you this shampoo from Shea Moisture because I do have several more in the shower. But I really do like this product. It really doesn't dry out my hair and it makes my hair feel moisturized even after shampooing. Because you know, a lot of times when you do shampoo your hair with shampoos, they kind of dry out your hair. Um, and I really don't like that feeling um, but I really love Shea Moisture products because it's very convenient for me in the area that I live in is predominantly um, Caucasian and Italians that live in my area uh, but I know I love Shea Moisture um, and I do love the moisture retention shampoo because it really does help with moisture the next shampoo that is my favorite is the tea cell um, therapeutic shampoo scalp buildup control it helps clears and helps prevent flakes and scalp buildup controls the symptoms of dandruff seborrheic dermatitis and psoriasis and it's fragrance free um, I'm not really sure because it doesn't have all the ingredients on it but it just has solid ah. Um, I can't pronounce that right now but I'm sorry some you know when sometimes when you're trying to pronounce a word and your mouth just can't like uh, just pronounce the word the correct way. Um, that's what salicylic. There you go, salicylic acid. I finally got it. It has three percent of it in there. Um, so if you're like, why are you using this product by Neutrogena? You guys, I use this product because I am having a scalp issue. Um, I've been told by several stylists that, hey girl, like you are having a scalp issue, you need to get that fixed. I am going to find a dermatologist to help me with my situation that's going on with my scalp. I don't really want to say what I have because I haven't been, it hasn't been diagnosed basically. I do get really bad scalp buildup sometimes to the point where I am itching my scalp. I can actually feel around my scalp sometimes and feel the build up, which is basically mm, more flakes that are building on my head. Um, yeah, it sucks because it itches a lot. So anyone out there who is dealing with the situation, I feel you because I understand. I'm All right, you guys. So I'm going to show you my favorite conditioners that I love using on my natural hair. So the first conditioner that I like using is the Shea Moisture Raw Butter Restorative Conditioner with Sea Kelp and Organ Oil. It's kind of the same thing like the shampoo that I showed you previously from the Shea Moisture line. It has the same benefits. It helps with dry, damaged hair. And it is color safe and sulfate free. Um, but you can also use this conditioner as a leave-in and I really love using it as a leave-in rather than a conditioner like I really love this product the next conditioner that I like using is Novex I don't know if you guys have heard about this but I really never heard about this conditioner until I actually went to a Boston natural hair event by the curly bunch um, it's really it really makes your hair feel like butter you guys when you are having a difficult time getting through your strands use this stuff it 
the consistency is very we well, actually have some water in here but it's really very it's very it's not thick like the Shea Moisture Conditioners but it's very it's more of a uh, I don't know um, it's very like a, a, a like a light cream basically it's not as thick but it's a light cream I really like it I really like the way it smells too um, it really does help with um, your curls man it moisturizes it and it defines it and it does kind of help um, reduce frizz and it has no parabens in it as well and you can also use it as a deep conditioning hair mask as well too so the next product I'm gonna show you is my favorite deep conditioning hair mask which is by the camera rolls naturals I love this product this was actually given to me by Kat because she tried this product out and she was like girl I do not like this and I was just like okay well I've always wanted to try it I heard so many good things about this product so I'm willing to try it as we all know this product is expensive or the hairline in general is expensive and it is not cheap um, Catherine actually got this on sale for $8.99 so I'm willing to try it if I can get it for free. The consistency is very, very, very thick. Just so you guys know. And it smells like chocolate, so it smells so delicious like you wouldn't eat it. I'm sorry. Like, I feel like something is, like, in my nose. I apologize. I'm all up in my nose. Um, so... <clears throat> This is a deep conditioner and it's co coca and mango butter and it's all for hair textures and types which is also great. Um, it hydrates, softens, and strengthens and it does tell you how to apply the mask and you leave it on for about 10 minutes. Um, I really do love this product. It, it does what it's supposed to do you guys. Um, and it smells so good and it's easy to actually rake it through your hair as well. So that is my favorite deep conditioner. So I'm actually going to go on to my favorite styling products now that I use on my hair. Typically when I'm doing either braid outs or wash and goes. So with that, let's get started with those. So my first favorite product is actually using coconut oil. I got this at my convenient grocery store. Um, it's an organic coconut oil. So every time when I buy an oil, I really I make sure that it is organic. Um, and you guys should too if you're gonna use oil um, I just love coconut oil um, it just I don't feel like it feels as thick in your hair and I love the shine that it actually gives my hair and the best thing about it is that you can use it for cooking you can use it on your hair and you can use it on your body and you can use it for oil pooling to get all the germs out of your mouth um, it has so many great benefits so you guys you should really get so my other favorite product that I like using when styling my hair is again the Shea Moisture line. It is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. I love this and I've heard so many good reviews about this and I had to get it myself. Um, I love it. Um, it's for natural hair, thick, curly, whatever you have, kinky, it's for it. And it helps with anti-frizz and it frizz and it moisturizes it moisturizes your hair and it gives it a nice shine and it also breaks down the gel that you use too it gives it more of a softer look and a lot more movement in your hair my next favorite styling product is by true this is a leave-in conditioner and I love it I feel like it's best to use true products with actual true products um, it doesn't really blend well with um, Shea Moisture products um, but I do love this. This is pretty new. I used it a bit a few times and I loved it. A lot goes a long way and it's with Shea Honey and Coconut and Mango. Um, it's no, it has no sulfates and no parabens in it and it also tells you. So it shows you the different hair types and textures that this product can be used on which I think is pretty cool and I don't know if you guys can see that but it is pretty cool. It tells you how you can use straight, wavy, curly, curly, coily, and coily hair. I feel like I fit in between coily hair which is 4B to C. Um, it's really good for detangling and moisturizing. It's really good and it once again it shows you how to use and it says how it gives you a, a tip too which is pretty cool. I also like using the true hydrating hair butter too so it's best to use it with um, both of the products. 
as you can see and it tells you once again it hydrates and defines and it's best for curly coily and coily hair curly coily hair is 3c and coily is 4b but you know who follows those hair types anyway which no one should you should love your hair regardless you guys whatever hair type that you are and be thankful that you have hair growing on your head um but i really do love these products um it really is very a soft consistency and it smells very good very good my next styling product that i love using is blendy's naturals blendy's natural is a, a small hair product business um by a female um she's coming up a little bit um so if you guys want you should show her some love um this is her natural flexi curly hair gel which i really love um she makes it herself um, and it's very organic and natural. Um, Flaxy gel is actually a good gel to use on your hair. I did used to use the Eco Styling Gel, but I'm trying to back away from that gel because it does have chemicals in it, and some it can be, I guess, drying to your hair. So I'm trying to stop using it, and I'm playing with new gels to use when I do my wash and goes. So I really love the Blendies Natural Natural Flaxseed Gel. It's really good, and it it doesn't have a strong hold like the Eco Styling Gel, but it does have a good hold in your hair, um, depending on how much you're putting and layering on your hair. Um, but I do love this product, and it doesn't make my hair as crunchy. And it really blends well with the Shea Moisture products, you guys. It does blend well. The other product that I like using when styling my hair, especially in the winter time when it is cold as hell outside, I like using the Fair Trade Shea Butter for all skin types and the um, scent Passion Fruit. You can use this on your hair and skin, which is a plus, and it's very moisturizing, especially on your ends. That's where I usually put it and it is vegan, it has no animal testing, it's unrefined, and it's non-GMO. Ooh, ooh, I really love this product, you guys. Um, and you should use it. You can get this at your nearest Whole Foods, which is great, and yeah, and it's not really that pricey to me, I guess, for shea butter. Um, it's a good amount, and I've had this for, like, a while, you guys. And a little bit goes a long way with shea butter. So you guys do not use so much. And I actually just put this in the microwave just to warm it up to get a little bit soft. So I love this product. It's great. Those are all my favorite products that I like to use on my natural hair. If you guys have any products that I should try, please let me know. Um, like I said, there are some products that I do want to try. I'm really interested in trying the Design Essentials shampoo with the avocado in it. I would like to try Diva Curl um, products. Um, for my kinky, coily girls out there, please let me know. Is it worth using Diva Curl products or is it not? I'm not really sure if I can use it on my hair type. Um, and also, I want to try Miss Jessie Curls again. I did try Miss Jessie Curls back in 2011, but now she has expanded her line. And I would like to try more of her products. You guys, I am cheap, but I know if you really want good hair products, sometimes you do have to spend a little bit more money. But but if any of you girls or guys use those products, please let me know. Or if you know any other products that actually are coming up or it's just not as popular but it's really good, write it in the link below too. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. Talk to us. We want to hear your comments. And thank you so much for more views, you guys. And peace out. Even if it's in your even if it's in your love, even if it's in your game, be sure. Even if it's in your love.